On this YouTube channel in El Paso, Texas, we highlight all new construction. And today we're on the luxury aspect in the west side of El Paso. Now, this part of the west side of El Paso is a bit deeper into El Paso. It's kind of called the Upper Valley, closer to New Mexico. You're around a little bit more rural living, but don't be confused. This is still like a suburb feel neighborhood. Now, the person who built this new construction home is not a popular custom builder or anything like this. This particular part of West Side El Paso is known for small builders popping up here and there and just building a, a couple homes. As for the important details on this house, it's five beds, four bathrooms, 3,085 square feet, and has a price tag of $725,000. This light fixture wasn't working when I got in here, which isn't too uncommon for new construction because, you know, the home's never fully done. New construction homes, even on the luxury aspect, are always going to acquire require some sort of walkthrough. That way you can point out the little tiny miscellaneous things that are wrong with the home. This is where your Wi-Fi box would go. It's just a coat closet as soon as you walk in. And immediately once you walk in, you can see into your living room, full-blown open concept. And then they have the wood beam aspect with the black fans, which is a real popular style right now in El Paso. You can also notice that they have some light fixtures pointing towards like the walls of the living room maybe if you wanted to hang something up there really highlight it and the black on wood with white is a popular theme in this particular home you got the granite countertops or it might be calcutta quartz with the veins waterfall island and they have a lot of shelving in this house so even though you have don't worry you have a lot of cabinet space you don't have to worry about wasted cabinet space because i mean even if you like to cook there's more than enough space to cook here but there's also a lot of shelving space and counters for decorative aspects. I'm assuming for those people that wanted to live an aesthetic lifestyle. And this kitchen does appear to be for somebody that really enjoys cooking. You got the trash cans hidden away, the double sink, and then you have the gourmet style kitchen with an actual stove that you'd be using to cook on. And you know, it's not just some flimsy regular stove that you're gonna buy at Lowe's. I really like how they put the Calcutta Quartz as the backsplash and then took it all the way to the top because at this price point, I mean, that's just a bare minimum. And the benefits to that is it looks nicer and also it's a lot easier to clean so it doesn't get stuck in the grout. This pantry is huge. This is the pantry for the kitchen. I mean, it's at least like seven, seven feet deep, I want to say, and about four feet wide. So you got more than enough space right here. All the bedrooms are on this side. Here's the first bathroom. They stuck with the white on black theme, tall ceilings inside this bathroom. And then they had the frameless glass so that way the home doesn't feel outdated whatsoever. On another topic, while we go through the bedrooms that are pretty self-explanatory, you'll be able to see the size and just how big they are and all that. Upper Valley El Paso. There's not just luxury homes here. You also have some starting off homes. I wouldn't consider the price range like starting in El Paso. They're kind of a little bit above average, but you're starting around like $310,000, $320,000. You got classic American homes, which at the time of making this video, they're kind of sold out. Then you have Zia homes, Maravilla homes, big homes. You also have classic heritage, icon custom homes, rise homes, point homes. There's there's honestly a, a good amount of builders here. And scratch that on the rise and the point homes because rise and point homes are actually in Enchanted Hills, which is a little bit more city feel vibe part of the west side in, yeah, in Enchanted Hills. And then icon homes could technically be here, but they aren't really here. Then you have a couple other miscellaneous custom builders, like I was explaining not too long ago, along with this one that's pretty popular on Camino Pinon at the time of making this video. They're called Unique Signature Custom Homes. Actually, they've had about two or three homes in this area for sale now for like, I want to say over a year and a half. They recently dropped the prices. We'll see whenever you're watching this video if they're still available. But anyways, walking down this hall, you can see that you have access into the kitchen and the living room. The home's almost one big circle. And all these bedrooms are a good size. They're definitely at the minimum 11 by 10. I'm not too sure why they did like that that black light beaming onto the wall. Um, I'm assuming it's kind of like a night, night light for the, for the bedrooms. Then you have the walk-in closets. All these doors, by the way, the doors felt like good quality. They didn't feel... Like you could just throw them around and them being real flimsy or anything like that. 
Um, the only thing I would say that they quote unquote skimped out on was making this shower right here and the other similar showers with the frame instead of frameless. Um, just because, you know, frameless costs a lot more. And you have this indention right here for painting or anything like that. Um, by the way, I'm not sure if you can tell on this video, but this is not laminate flooring. This is actually ceramic tile. And I recorded this video at the sunset hour of El Paso, so you can kind of see through this window. But in a little bit, we're going to go out to the backyard. That way you can see how the sun sets. This was of the bigger closets for all the rooms that weren't the primary bedrooms. All right, now we're going to walk to the outside of the house, the backyard. The pro to this backyard is that it's huge. This is relatively speaking for El Paso. This is a pretty big backyard. However, it's not landscaped and no backyard in El Paso is going to be landscaped. This one needs still needs to be graded though. So don't worry. There's like a lot of bumps in this backyard and it's going to be flattened out. Don't let that scare you away. Now, this patio is actually pretty big. You can have a great party here. I love the patio space. It's wide, enough space for like three outdoor furniture sets. But anyways... This backyard's pretty big. The sun sets in the back. So when you're outside, you kind of have that heat. That way it's not too cold. Rock walls are a little bit low, but that, that's just going to be a thing on all of El Paso. So your rock walls are going to be low. And then you have this side gate that I'm going to go to in a little bit. So you can pull some ATVs in, maybe even an RV. And yes, there's traffic behind this house. It's separated by like a little dam and then it's traffic. Uh, a pro to this backyard is, though, that your neighbor right here put up a privacy fence, so it's always nice to uh, luck out with that. But I know I said that this the backyards are never going to be landscaped, but sometimes when a home isn't selling, the builder will landscape it. For example, that unique signature builder um, on Camino Pinon, they were not selling for a while, so then they landscaped it. But this is the primary bedroom. You can go into it through your backyard. I will say it's long. It's long. But it doesn't feel like a primary bedroom, especially for 3,085 square feet. I feel like this primary bedroom is a little bit on the small side. It's like all the bedrooms in this house kind of feel the same. Um, this bathroom, though, and the closet are to die for. I mean, they're amazing. They did a great job with it. Right here, you have this makeup vanity with a double sink. That way you can get ready. And it's pretty interesting. They got the full open concept with this one. I do think you're missing a little bit of light in this shower. I like the aesthetic that they went with. They put some wood-like tile as the backdrop to this one right here. And then the ceiling on this shower is pretty high. So, I mean, this whole home just feels very grand. And then you have tile in the closet, which is definitely a necessity. That way you can go straight from your shower to the closet change and all these drawers inside this island are fully functional and i mean this is a pretty big closet i would say that this closet's about at 10 by 10 the size of some you know like regular bedrooms and you can be a little cheese more so cheese more sign look out to your front yard through this closet see what's going on see what your neighbors are doing and this is the whole home tour there's hey there's 20 plus builders in el paso texas there's so many locations that you can live in and it can get a little overwhelming so if you want to know exactly what builders right for you what price is right for you what locations right for you feel free to give me a call i would love to help you guys out and help you make the right decision